and welcome to Keypad Interactive Science Videos. My name is Peter Nice and today I want to show you how easy it is to use the Thuria Novalink data logger to investigate chemical reaction rates in line with the Australian National Curriculum. There's lots of good reasons for using data loggers in high school science, which I won't go into now, but before I start today's investigation, I just want to show you two things from the Australian National Curriculum website. Firstly, if we look at the Year 10 Science page, and have a look down at the Science Inquiry Skills column. We read, select and use appropriate equipment including digital technologies to systematically and accurately collect and record data. Then if we click on the ACSIS 200 elaboration, the first dot point says explicitly, selecting and using probes and data loggers to record information. So yes, the Australian curriculum does specifically require the use of data loggers for Year 10 science and if you look at the similar page in the Year 9 science they're also explicitly mentioned. In Year 7 and 8 digital technologies are referred to. The second thing I wanted to have a look at was down at the bottom of the uh, Year 10 science curriculum are some work samples. So if we click on the work samples we'll see that they've provided uh, teachers with eight samples of work of different types of uh, investigations, reports, cartoons and so on. And the eighth one is an investigation report uh, into reaction rates. So if we have a look at that particular work sample, we can see that it uh, involves using uh, hydrochloric acid on small pieces of magnesium ribbon in a test tube. The rate of reaction is recorded by using uh, a balloon placed over the test tube and a stopwatch, using a stopwatch to record how long it takes for the balloon to inflate. There are several limitations with this low-tech approach to science investigations, certainly in terms of reproducibility and precision. But my concern is that by the time our students get to Year 10, we want them to be considering science as a viable, challenging and rewarding career option. To achieve this, we need them to be doing real science with real science investigation tools. Modern data loggers fulfil this role very well and very cost effectively. They encourage students to want to take their investigations further and to see themselves as potential scientists. Now we are going to do a similar investigation using a modern Novalink data logger. Today we're using um, ammonium nitrate just being dissolved in water so it's a simple dissolution reaction. Uh, We'll be using the Furrier Novalink data logger interface, four ports, and connects with a simple mini USB cable to the USB port of your computer, like so. And we simply connect the temperature probe to port one of Novalink. Okay, put the temperature probe in the colorimeter and we're just about ready to go. Having a look at the multi-lab software, to get started we simply click on the setup icon which will bring up the three windows for the setup. First one is your inputs, we just have a uh, temperature probe at input one. Notice it's plug and play so if I disconnect the temperature probe it says input one is empty. If I connect the temperature probe back in it says input one has a temperature probe. Move on to the next screen where we'll select the sample rate. We'll be using 10 samples a second, but we can set it down to one hour manually or up to 10,000 samples a second when we have just one sensor connected. Third screen tells us how long we want to let the experiment run for. Uh, we might let it run for three minutes today, but we can stop it at any time. Finish, we're ready to go. So to start the experiment, I'll click on run. I'm going to add the 30 mils of plain tap water to the cup and just let that settle for a little bit. You can see the um, temperature there is about room temperature, about, uh, about 22.6 degrees. We're going to add one teaspoon ammonium nitrate crystals. Give it a bit of a stir around and going to observe the decrease in temperature, so it's an endothermic reaction. And um, we're interested today not so much in the total temperature drop. 
Today we just want to look at how quickly the reaction occurs. So we're looking at the interested in the slope of the graph, and we'll just let it run till it settles down to the lower temperature. That should do, and so we'll click stop. Now we're going to repeat the experiment using two teaspoons of ammonium nitrate. Replace the cup with an empty cup. Put the probe in and click run again. Notice so far the data map on the left here has recorded the results for experiment one, one teaspoon. Click on run and we're starting to ex record experiment two now. So we'll add 30 mils of tap water again. This time we're going to add two teaspoons of ammonium nitrate. One, two, and stir. And we're going to observe again the rate at which the temperature drops. Uh, okay, so these are the results of our investigations. Uh, all I've done to the two graphs is to uh, crop them from the beginning to the end of the actual reaction and, um, and place them both on the same graph. When we do that we can clearly see that the rate of decrease of temperature with the two teaspoons of ammonium nitrate is significantly faster than the rate of one, crease, one, one teaspoon. So the, um, we can conclude that reaction rate is dependent on uh, the amount of ammonium nitrate used. So you can see the Nova Link is a simple, easy to use data logger, but surprisingly powerful. It samples over 10,000 samples a second, it's got over 50 available sensors covering all areas of physics, chemistry, biology, environmental science, and much more. Uh, the Multilab software is sophisticated but user friendly. So if you would like more information, please visit our website, keypad.com, or call our, call our 1 800 number and you can arrange either an on-site demonstration or a web-based demonstration. Bye for now.